Okay, so, hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to another video. So obviously, this is going to be a new LP that I'm starting on my channel, and this is the Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles Adventure Pack. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. Uh, if you didn't know, um, the Sims of Medieval is basically a simulation of a medieval era basically and you get to create your own uh, kingdom sort of thing and you get to rule it and all of that fun stuff so I'm super excited um, to get into this so yeah we're gonna get into it so welcome to the sims medieval to start you need to select an ambition for now you must choose the ambition new beginnings click the next button to uh, at the bottom of this message to proceed you can earn achievements, alrighty, when you start a new game you get 50 quest points and you can spend to embark on quests and adventures. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game and we get to name our kingdom. So I am going to call it, um, hmm, let me think here. Um, I think I want to call it, uh, oh, caps lock, um, let me take that off, uh, Earl, Elshire, yeah, Elshire the kingdom, I'm thinking, yeah, and then we obviously have an option of throne rooms, and I'm pretty sure that, um, I only get these because I have the limited edition version. So we obviously have um, the traditional, um, the princess dream castle, the uh, barbarian stronghold, or the lair of dark uh, sorcery. But I'm going to go with the princess dream castle because <laughs> uh, you guys know me. You know what I'm like. So yeah, Elshire in the princess dream castle. And we're going to jump right into it here. So you are now in kingdom mode. This is where you manage your kingdom and place buildings. Keep an eye on the upper right hand corner of the screen, important messages and story points show there as you play. Um, right. These buttons are the cameras. Um, this, you can see the state of your kingdom. The panel has a summary of the kingdom's current status, uh, renown and resources. Right now the kingdom needs a monarch. Okay. So the monarch is a hero in that you need to play the game, a monarch lives and works in the throne room. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our own monarch. Um, and obviously I would like to create my own. Okay, so as you can see, um, the graphics aren't actually half bad on this game. I was really surprised when I got it. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. So, hmm, what are we going to call... In fact, let me give it a bit of a randomise. I suppose I could randomise her name. Karina Lyon, Lin, Linum? Yeah, Karina Linum. That's not actually a bad name. Okay, I suppose we'll go with Karina. Um, let me give her a randomise. Wow, she's very pretty. We, we could roll with her. She is a very, very pretty woman. Okay, we'll work with her. So this is Karina. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Oops, let me turn her. Let me go ahead and select a name here. Uh, I mean a voice. <laughs> That's a nice voice, I like that one. Okay, let's go ahead and choose this one here. So let me get her in the right position here. Um, so we get the face detail, which is women uh, is blush. So we could add up blush on her. We'll give her a bit. It adds freckles as well, I think. And then age detail, and we'll have a nice young queen, I'm thinking. Uh, skin tone. Uh, I do like the one that she had on here. Yeah, I do like that one. It's very nice. And then we choose her body type. So obviously we can go skinny or plumper. I think we'll go like an in the middle sort of bit. And a muscle size here as well. And we'll give her, um, we'll give her a bit of muscle, but not, you know, too much that's overpowering. There we go. I really like that, that you know, dress on her. It looks really nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and choose traits. So we have traits and we have flaws. So you must choose one flaw for your for pretty much every sim that you create and also two traits. So um, we have adventurous, call of the sea, chivalrous, 
a creative cook, dedicated, earthy, uh, eloquence, entitled, evil, excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good, greedy, haggler, hopeful orphan, jokester, loves family, scholarly, solitary, unkept, vain, or well, ate my parents. <laughs> um, okay, so, what have we got here? So, we've got adventurous, thrill seekers love to go out on expeditions, call of the sea, they love the high seas, will stay, stay out on too long, and you will feel out of water. Uh, very loyal and courteous and kind. Okay, I like I like chivalrous. That sounds uh sounds like a good one to have. Um, eloquent. Have the gift of gab. Just a few words. Able to convince, inspire, or comfort anybody. Sounds pretty good. They feel they are above the rest and don't waste their time on mundane things in life. That's eh, not really feeling that. Excitable, friendly. They're good at making and keeping friendships. Fun loving. Uh, good. Um, well, I want to be a good queen. I'm, I'm thinking that is a good, they're a good pair. And now we have a choice of flaws. So obviously they're in bloodthirsty, but we cannot have that because they conflict with certain um, traits that we have. So we have bloodthirsty, compulsive gambler, cowardly, uh, cruel, cursed, drunkard, fool, glutton, uh, guild enemy, uh, hybris, hybris, don't know how you say that, hybris, I think, hubris, I don't know, insecure, uh, insomniac, uh, listen to us, to know, uh, misanthrope, uh, mor uh, I can never even say this, mor mor morose, okay, never even gonna try it, puny, uncarth, or weak constitution. So, I'm thinking, um, she is going to be, um, hmm. Okay, let me read through these. So, weak constitution, have delicate stomachs, um, poor planning and poorly chosen words, puny, uh, they're not very tired and sore, uh, difficult to make them happy, um, don't get along with sims, um, not very romantically inclined, they don't really sleep, insecure, um, blinded. How about we go with a drunkard? Because everybody likes to drink. But, obviously, drunkards have a love-hate relationship with various intoxicating beverages. They love to drink, drink often in large amounts, but really hate life when they wake up the next morning. But, um, we'll roll with that, you know. Good bit of that. Um, so, let's move on to our hair. So, we obviously have the default uh, hair colours, so we have blonde, uh, brown, darker brown, that's like a, a, like a chestnut sort of colour, gingery sort of, um, like a honey sort of colour, uh, that's more gingery, uh, black hair, white hair or grey hair. Now, I did quite like the blonde on her. But then this this colour is quite nice, this honey sort of colour. So I think I'm gonna go with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through all of the um all of the hairs that we have the option of. So we have this one, which is really nice, and it comes with that bow thing now. Uh this like crumpet. <laughs> it kinda looks like a okay, it doesn't look anything like a crumpet <laughs> in the bottom. But hey, that's what I related to, right? Um I've got a bowl cut, which is not really rocking. Uh, we've got a nice flowy hair with a, with a thing on it. I don't know what that's called. Um, normal pulled back long hair. Um, half up, half down. Uh, I really do like that one though. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like the really strange hairs just because I think, you know, you can get away with them if you're a monarch. Uh, normal ponytail. Half up, half down again. Normal long hair. Um... That's, that's pretty nice, I suppose. Um, okay. Um, what else? We've got bold. Um, okay. This has pretty nice. Comes down in a plait. Um, what else? I do like this hair, though. This one that she had before. Bit plain, though. For, I mean, she's a monarch. She really should show her worth. And um, we've got some plaits at the side. It's pretty cute. I do like that one as well. 
Yeah, it's got like a flower in it. Oh, that's so cute. And we have Crazy Style as well, which is really, really awesome as well. Oh, we can change her hair color. That's pretty cool. I suppose we'll do that. Um, hmm. Could give her like a... Um, I don't know what I want to give her. Could give her like blonder highlights, I suppose. <laughs> we could, we could roll with that. Um. Oh, accessories. Accessories can be white. Um. Okay, let's give that a go then. Do I like that hair color? It's kind of like a mousy brown. So this is why it takes me so long to create anything. <laughs> I'm just so indecisive. Actually, I really, I really like that hair color on her. Um, okay, let me go ahead and see with the hats. So we've got this one, this one, this one. We've got a few crowns, which are nice. Um, okay. And this comes with the adventure pack, uh, Pirates and Nobles. Uh, that's very nice. I do like that one as well. Um, these are the normal ones. Uh, normal ones. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh. Ooh, that one's very nice. Very nice. I like it. Um, and then we have this one, which is kind of like a masquerade sort of looking one. It's nice. I mean, I don't know where you'd wear that, but anyways. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck in between this and this and this. Well, not that. I'd say more this and that. Um, I think I like this one more. I think I'm going to go with this one. I mean, we could always change it if need be. So let's go ahead and move on to eyebrows. So we can give her, you know, thick eyebrows. Um, okay, I kind of want them so that they, they look kept, you know? They're not just wild. I suppose those one will do. You know, like they're in line, I suppose. So let's work on her face here. So, um, we could give her quite a broad jaw. Where it could come in. So I think I want to give her quite <laughs> um, a big jaw. Chin width. Give her quite a small chin. Um, and I think we're done on the face shape. Now, I suppose we can just move on to this. So, we can choose eye colour. So we have purple, um, lighter blue. Oh, sorry, is that a grey? I suppose it's a blue-grey. Um, a brownie honey colour. A darker brown. Green. Uh, greeny blue, blue or grey, and I do quite like the, um, hmm, I do kind of like the blue, but I'm not sure, I'll see, um, okay, so, let's go ahead and move her eyelids a bit, and we'll, um, just kind of open them up, you know, um, oh, not that much, <laughs> um, there we go, I'm thinking that, yeah, I'm liking that, um, corner height, um, like that, thinking, eyebrows, uh, mediocre, forward, let's go ahead and check, like that, uh, brow width, that's okay, um, rotation, eh, curve, Her quite big eyes, I suppose. Uh, sorry if I'm not speaking, but you know, I concentrate. <laughs> um, okay, we'll bring them in a bit more. Um, distance is fine, rotate, fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy with those. Cool, cool. Um, now the noses. So we obviously okay. do have default noses. See, this takes me forever. <laughs> um, Okay, width, we'll kind of give her quite small lips, but quite thick, I'm thinking. Um, mouth corners rotate. Should be quite a happy queen, I think. Uh, curve. 
uh, depth. We'll obviously sort that out at the side. Um, okay. Lip curl. Okay, this is where I find this difficult. There we go. And then fatness. Quite fat, I'm thinking. There we go, and then we'll make this one a bit more, a bit smaller. But then we'll thicken them out a bit. And then we'll pull them down a bit. No. Like that, I think? Yep, I'm happy. Cool, cool. Okay, now we have the makeup. So we obviously have one eyeshadow that we can choose from but we can change the color of it um so i'm thinking we'll give her like a, a darker sort of color so she has a, kind of like a, a shadow it's kind of a purpley color so it kind of matches her dress because i think i do want to keep that dress because it looks amazing uh, and then we have eyeliner so we obviously do have quite a range of eyeliners from pirates and nobles but i do want to give her quite a um a standard eyeliner um, and then we'll just darken it up a bit. Yep, cool, cool. Uh, now we have blush, so we can choose from here. I quite like the lighter colour. Yep, I like the lighter colour and lip gloss as well. Um, we'll give her like a coral. Not lighter than her original colour though. Okay, this is really hard. <laughs> I can't find the right colour. I think that's okay. Darker? Lighter? Yep, I'm cool with that. A bit lighter. No, I'm not cool with that yet. Hold on. Give me a second. There, I'm happy. Cool, cool. So, clothing. Um, I do quite like what she's wearing, but we do have it in different colours. And we could customise it ourselves if we wanted to. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the clothing anyways. So, we have this one, which is quite, uh, you know, quite uh, fitted. Or more fitted than our one. And we have this one, which I used to use quite a lot. Um, this one, which I... Uh, I like yeah this one is obviously in competition with the one that we were that we had earlier just because I think it is so so stunning I love it so much um and then obviously we have this one here uh, we have this one and this one and then we have these and then we obviously we have these which I think I think I do like this one more than I like the other one but I suppose we can change it later on if we would like to. And then obviously we have all of these which we will not put on our monarch. So I'm going to stick with this one because I do like this one a lot. And yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and accept. So what was her name again? Karina. Karina Linum. Okay. Karina Linum. Linum. There we go. Got it. So Lady Karina, now that you have a hero sim, you can embark upon quests. You need to be on a quest to play the game. Open the quest book to choose your first quest. So in the quest book, you can select any quest on the list, but there are dozens of quests in the game. Only a few will be available at a time. So different quests will show up at different times, depending on how we play. So please choose first steps and then click next. So obviously we do have to choose first steps to get started. So the dust has finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been planted and soon a civilization would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Earl Shire needs now was a ruler, someone wise and powerful who could unite the people under the kingdom's cause. So we have to obviously choose the monarch. You can choose between all the different people in your, well not all the time, depending on certain quests you choose between different people, but yeah. 
So building a kingdom from the ground up was no simple task. Whoever took on this incredible mission would need to secure resources, hire a staff, control the uh, burg... Well, really? Burgeoning populace and beat back the criminal elements. So we obviously choose our primary hero. Let's go ahead and click OK. So, no, I would not want scroll, scroll, scroll edging, wait, edge scrolling. Um, so welcome to live mode, so obviously it works as normal. Um, we can obviously go up and down floors and we can customise the building as we like. Um, here is a good time to save, so we can click the button and click save, yep. Um, you can click the pause buttons and the play, obviously. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So obviously we have the quest and we, we can stick to the quest if we want to, but we don't, um, you know, we don't have to if we don't want to. So you can pretty much choose if you want to. But anyway, so we need to read out what she's saying. So my throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working, uh, have been working hard and the fruits of their labor are evident. I should prepare to meet with Buildmaster Claude. A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror would suffice. So we have been asked to gussy up in the mirror. So we need to head upstairs and hop onto the mirror. So where is it? Ah, there it is. So gussy up. So what does it say? Um, if I'm going to speak with my subjects, I need to look my best. Okay. Hmm. And that's what she does in the mirror. I think that's about it. So obviously it is very, very nice. Um, depending on, you know, each time that you use, it all changes, but I really do like this style of the castle. It looks so nice. I love it. Um, okay, so this is your focus meter. You can maintain a high focus by staying well rested, keeping your belly satisfied, and engaging in interactions that will align your traits. So in addition to increasing quest performance, high focus gives you a better chance of succeeding in your tasks and challenges. So obviously this is our, um, this is our focus meter here. Um, buffs you can see here, so these are just emotions that she's feeling, um, we can click follow sim, okay, so perfect, now I'm a little more focused, staying focused will help make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself, speaking of which, I should seek out Buildmaster Claude, um, of the buildings, uh, buildings, uh, builders guild, a powerful pillar of the community and discuss the future of Earlshire, so let's head over to um build master claude so i think he is downstairs uh there he is okay come back come back build master discuss the castle there he is hello okay so for throne rooms all done, my lady. We need more resources to begin the next building in the kingdom. Wood and uh, stone supply, wood, stone and supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of my kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary woods. So we head over to, into the eye of the watcher mode, which is basically like map view, and obviously we can um, choose to go to the forest because obviously there are all different places around here. So we can click go to the forest over there. And then we'll head back over to uh, over to Karina. So use the round yellow location marker to find the forest. Right click on the... Yep, okay. The walk to the forest is long. To make time go faster, we can obviously uh, speed this up. So I would like to watch while she does this. Uh, put some speed too. And obviously, you can see we're heading over to the forest now. Um, and now we're here. So, ah, the forest. Much adventure waits me in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. One never knows when wildflowers should come in handy. So we'll go ahead and we click discover on these plants over here. And once we've discovered them, you, you know, permanently know where they are and what they are. But, um, yeah, you know, you observe them and we realise that they're wildflowers and then we can collect them. And then we'll do the same to this. Um, and I think... And that one. Nope, that's it. Why can we not look at that? We don't have the ability to gather from this object. So certain in your, certain items in your inventory will go bad over time. So from each one that we collect, we've collected wildflowers, grass, weed, and seeds. Um, okay, I missed that. 
bed. Okay, there is a woman over here. Well, well, a victim has come to visit my forest. You'd better hand over your money if you know what's good for you. Um, a bandit dares to threaten the queen and my trusty sword can bring this uh, brigand to justice. Okay, so um, we click on her, I think. What do we do? What does she want to do? She wants to challenge forest bandit Danielle to a duel. So we'll challenge her to a duel. Not to the death, just just a duel. And of course she accepts it. Think you can beat me? We'll see about that. So obviously we get out our sword and we can click on ourselves and we can choose to do different sorts of things. So we can whistle her or hilt smash and you can also see our stamina and our health. So obviously we are losing right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, hilt smash her. And she loses a bit of health from that as well. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll whistle next. Or is, no, I don't think whistle is actually part of it. Quick, quick, get her. Uh, yeah, whittle isn't, isn't part of it. Don't, you can only hit smash. I think you get di you unlock different options as your skill increases. So, uh, we available in two minutes. Okay, so who is going to win? Oh, come on, Karina, you're doing so well. Come on, girl. Yes, we won. Awesome. <laughs> so obviously we won the duel against the uh, bandit. So it says triumph. Bandits could really become a problem in Australia, but a knight or spy could curb that. Now I collect wood in peace. So we can obviously head into the forest and go and collect wood. And we'll just leave her there, passed out. And she looks incredibly scary. <laughs> She's still got her eyes open. Um, okay, right then. So then obviously this is a rabbit hole, so we don't get to see anything from this. But we usually do get notifications coming up um, whilst it's going on and stuff. So there was always a venture waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. And she's obviously walking along like <laughs> all in pain. Ah. This building would be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The uh, builder will also need some stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. But I am going to end this episode off here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Um, I will upload two of these in a row because I really am enjoying this LP. But yeah. Anyways, I love you all and I'll see you in the next episode. As always, remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and also a comment because it is always appreciated. And if you are new, could you please subscribe because it helps with the channel growth and all that fun stuff. And yeah, as always, I love you all and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.